Hey everybody, it's Jack Curry with Intentional Walk here in spring training with the Yankees. Five days into spring training, I've got five takeaways for you. And of course, we've got to start out with Garrett Cole. He threw a simulated game today. I'm so impressed with his professionalism and the power he brings to the mound. He said it was the first time he's ever received a standing ovation for a simulated game. What did he do while he was out there on the mound? He struck out the first four batters that he faced. But you know what else has impressed me about Cole? When he does interviews, he takes the time to ask the reporter what his or her name is. And I overheard him telling one reporter today, I want to make sure I get to know the names of all the beat writers. I want to make sure that I get to know all of them. That's a pro right there. Yankee fans are going to love this guy. And you know who's lying in the weeds and who I think is going to have a great 2020? Luis Severino. Everybody crowded around Cole today to talk to him about his simulated game. Luis Severino threw a bullpen session, talked to one or two reporters, and left. This guy is an ace himself. He won't be the ace because Cole will be the number one pitcher, but Severino can be that 1A, that number two, that is going to make the Yankees so difficult to face when they go into different series. My third point is going to be about Gary Sanchez and the catchers. I've texted with John Flaherty. I can't wait till he gets down to spring training because with this new stance, I guess you would call it, catcher stance that the Yankees are doing where they are lowering that right knee, that right leg a little bit lower, the ability is to try and help frame low pitches, and also they just think it's going to make their catchers better all-around catchers. I've been fascinated by watching that. My fourth point is about young Yankee pitchers. Pitchers like Clark Schmidt, Michael King, Jonathan Loisaga, Jordan Montgomery. We saw some of them throw today, and Aaron Boone said he's so excited about these pitchers who can contribute and who can hoop help the Yankees in the future. You're watching them today and you're seeing that talent start to ooze out and potentially help the Yankees. And my final point is the Astros and the sign stealing scandal because of course we can't talk about anything in spring training without bringing that up. That story actually didn't have as much buzz today. It was back to baseball. The buzz was all about Garrett Cole, but in talking to some Yankee officials, they reiterated how upset they are, how angry they are, but there's so much so much they're going to say publicly they really do want to put the focus back on 2020. I'm going to put the final focus on my song of the day. It's changes, ch -ch -ch changes from David Bowie because with Garrett Cole here there are changes in Yankee land.